Hello guys, this is the Field Gamers channel, and I am back on the Chaos Craft server, and what I'm going to show you in today's video, uh, I've actually been keeping it on the DL recently, but I'm going to go ahead and show it to you now. Um, I had it blocked off earlier when we showed the, the stadium here, which you can see in a previous video, but right now I'm going to go ahead and show you this area right here. Now this area right here is uh, right here. It's connected to the stadium. You can walk right up these stairs and you'll be right in here. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to create some sort of like market because back in our actual spawn, uh, the Chaos Craft spawn where everybody spawns, we used to have a village there where we could trade stuff with villagers. But uh, apparently zombies got in and killed basically all the villagers. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to create my own little market in my area or my portion of the Chaos Craft server so that I could have some like some some train or not training I was about to say training some trading with some villagers so if I want uh, any materials I can just do some trading with these these villagers and you know I can be uh, a happy trader but um for those of you I know a lot of people are going to be uh, asking how in the heck I got villagers in here I have done a tutorial on how to turn zombies into villagers which I will all I will uh, include that link in this video. I'll actually include it right on the screen so you can hit the link if you would like uh, to see how to do this. But here is an example right here. There is a zombie right here and he seems to be dressed in a villager's clothing which you can see it looks like he's wearing leather armor. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make sure that he can't move. So let's get some gray wool or something. I don't know. And we're going to pretty much just here I'm gonna push him forward. I'm going to block him off so he can't move. The reason he's not attacking me is because he wants to kill this villager right here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Splash Potion of Weakness, splash it with him, and then take this Golden Apple, and boom. In a little bit he will turn into a villager. But to know how to do all this, um, I'm not going to explain it now because I've already done a full tutorial on my channel. Just go to my channel or just click the link that you just saw previously on this the screen and you'll be able to know exactly how to, to do this for your own channel so you can have your own little markets going in your world but basically I have all these guys over here these are my valuable guys uh, this guy gives you seven or for seven emerald he'll give you some diamond boots and this guy for ten emerald he'll give you an ender eye which I actually really like this guy's deal because we're gonna need a lot of ender eyes soon because I don't know how soon but eventually uh, everybody on the server is gonna go looking for the dragon together and we're gonna need as many ender eyes as possible so this might actually come in handy if we need some extra ender eyes we can come here and buy some from him um, but yeah, we got. Uh, I haven't really labeled uh, anything because nobody's permanent. Um, this slot right here is currently missing, obviously. Uh, as soon as this guy gets turned into a, a villager, I'm gonna put him right in that spot over there. So you guys will be able to. You guys will be able to see how I do that real quick. Um, but usually it takes about like two minutes, so we'll just have to sit here and wait a little bit for this guy. Um, here's a sign. You can see he's shaking. Uh, when you first give him the apple, he makes like a really loud, like, crunching, weird noise, and that's kind of the indicator that he's being turned into a villager. And you can see he's like having like a little mini seizure right now. Um, but yeah, so what I'm going to do is, as soon as I get this filled up, which will be here in a second, because that's, there's only one slot left, um, over time, you can see down here, that's the pit. This is where I get my zombies. I, basically, you have to wait for the exact zombie because you can't just turn any zombie into a villager. You have to turn the zombies that look like villagers already, like the one that I just saw, he was dressed like a villager. You have to get one of those specific zombies, lead them up here, and then I can turn them into uh, a villager, which I'm going to go ahead and come down here real quick. You can kind of see, um, there's really no, I don't see that zombie, he wouldn't work. I don't think anybody down here would work. So over time, I just kind of keep an eye out of the, the, the monsters in the pit. And if I ever see a, a zombie, uh, a villager zombie down in the pit, I always lead him up here and see what he has to offer. Because when you turn a villager into a zombie, what they will trade is completely random. So I did not get to choose, you know, what these guys are able to trade. And you, I'll go ahead and go through all of them so you can kind of see how random they are. This guy gives you 16 raw beef for an emerald. You know, they're all really different. Um, I'll just kind of go through them real quick. Um, they all have different classes. I tried to organize them as best as I could. Later, when I have more valuable villagers, um, hopefully I can extend this uh, and get rid of the villagers that I know I won't use. Um, because some of these villagers are just pointless. Like, I don't think I'll ever use this one. I have a farm right now where I can grow plenty of watermelon. Why would I waste an emerald to buy seven? So. Yeah, some of these guys are, are kind of pointless. These guys over here are obviously really valuable. 
Uh, it might take some time, but over time it'd be nice if I could get a whole bunch of villagers that will trade each item from diamond armor. Because if I had a villager to trade each, you know, diamond boots, diamond chest plates, diamond pants, everything like that, then I could, you know, I wouldn't have to go mining for diamond. And that would actually be a useful uh, task. But um, you could see this room, um, I just did the same design with the ceiling as I did out here with the lights. Um, and then I just, uh, I made it a black ceiling and I just did this kind of like weird pattern on the wall. Um, I don't, don't really know why I did it. It just kind of looks cool. Makes it look like it's not too plain. Um, oh, looks like he's done. Let's check real quick. And 30 papers for Emerald. So, okay, so this guy, he actually, it doesn't seem like he's that important. But um, this is actually a good one. I actually like this guy because since I have my farm now I can use all my sugar cane get a bunch of paper come back and I can actually get a bunch of emerald from him so because uh, sometimes it can be hard to find emerald in the mountains depending on uh, you know where you're digging sometimes it can be really hard so now I'll be able to easily get a bunch of emerald because I have a, a plantation on my island uh, which I've shown you in my actually my previous video right before this one I showed you that so let's go ahead and get him over and you, what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna block this off so he doesn't escape. Sorry villager, you're not going anywhere. Uh, I'll remove this as soon as I get him where I want. And then let's just go ahead and do this for now. Okay, and then what I do from here, since he kind of doesn't follow you around, I just basically push him like this, kind of just step in front of his way, and he will just keep sliding. Unlike zombies, you know, he will just sit there, he won't do anything. Um, sometimes you can get, like, sometimes what will happen is he'll back himself up into a corner and then it'll make it really hard. Like, right now, I can't get any farther left than I am, so I'm having a hard time getting him to move to the right. Um, I can only move him forward right now, so I'm going to have to kind of wait for him to move on his own. Uh, let's see here. I don't have a pickaxe, so I'll just have to do this by hand. Okay, and then basically what I got to do is I just kind of kind of wait... Maybe I could hit him. Oh, see, now he's stuck. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to wait till he gets out of the corner. And then as soon as he's out in the open, I can kind of push him in there. And it uh, looks like I don't have any stairs with me. But for now, I can just give a put a half slap there to keep him from uh, escaping. I don't know why I just did that, because I don't have a pickaxe to destroy it. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a tedious process. It's actually really annoying, I'm not going to lie. It took me so long just to get all these villagers in here. I mean, the amount of time... Oh, there he goes, there he goes. Nope, nope, nope. Where are you going? No, don't go into another... No, okay, now he's stuck in here. See, when he's up against a wall, you can't really push him because... I mean, I can't really get in the wall and then push out from the wall. So I'm going to have to wait again for him to come out of there. I don't know why he likes to hide. They always do this. Every single time I've done this, they always try to hide in little nooks and crannies where I can't get them. But you know what? It's okay, I'll deal with him later. Oh, actually, no, I can do it now. No, 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 no. Okay, there we go. Perfect. See, now that he's not up against the wall, I can push him in whatever direction I want. And uh, usually when they're just standing still, as long as you're right next to them, usually they don't move. Whoa, 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 not this way. So usually it makes it pretty easy just to kind of push him right into where he needs to be. Now, for now, I'll go get a, a little stair piece in my, my thing uh, over there, my storage room later. But for now, I'll just keep it right here. But now I've got, oh, and perfect, they match. So, yeah, that works perfectly. So now everything is filled. I can now uh, go to any villager, get whatever I want. And uh, hopefully later I can maybe extend this. I'd like to make, maybe on one of my islands, I'd like to make like a really cool village. But for now, I just wanted to make something quick and simple. And I shouldn't have said quick because this was not a quick process at all. This is actually a very long process. Um, when doing this in survival mode, there really is no easy way to do it because it's just, a pain in the butt to do so uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this um, again watch the tutorial on how to turn zombies into villagers and then you can do something just like this in your own worlds um, you can even make it a lot bigger this is again this is a very small room um, you know you could make a very large room full of all kinds of villagers if you want I think that would actually be the best uh, idea if you could get a room that had literally every type every combination of villagers so that you could literally trade whatever you want because there are actually a lot of combinations I don't know exactly how many but there are definitely a lot of combinations um, but yeah so hopefully I can do that on an island or something and you know again watch the tutorial you'll be able to do this yourself 
and trust me it's 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 definitely worth it it takes time but it's definitely worth it so uh like comment subscribe uh all those things would be great uh, i appreciate uh hearing feedback from you guys so please leave your comments and stuff in the, the description below and um i will see you guys in my next video uh see you guys later bye